Equilibrium is a state in which a reversible reaction has equal rates of the forward and the reverse reactions. So it's very important to remember that equilibrium does not mean equal amounts. Equilibrium is a dynamic state. In other words, this reaction between A and B continues to make the product C. But at the same time, C is reforming A and B. So we have a forward reaction and a reverse reaction. If this reaction reaches equilibrium, we don't necessarily have equal amounts of the reactants and the products we have equal rates. And if we reach that state, we can write down an equilibrium constant. Just like we saw a rate constant was a lowercase k, an equilibrium constant is always a capital K. Equilibrium constants can be measured either in terms of concentration, so you have a Kc, or if you have gases, you can also measure them in terms of the pressure, so you can have a Kp. In both cases, K is always going to be a unitless number. And the form of K always has this form. It's a fraction where you have all the products in the numerator raised to the power of their coefficients divided by the reactants in the denominator also raised to their coefficients. So for this particular reaction, we would have the concentration of the product C raised to the power of 3 because the, exp the coefficient is a 3. On the reactant side, we have concentration of A. Its coefficient is a 1, so it will be raised to the first. B is special because B is a solid. Solids and liquids do not appear in K. Pure solids and pure liquids have a constant concentration, therefore we don't include them in the equilibrium constant. Square brackets means we're using the unit molarity. If we were looking at a Kp, we would have the same kind of fraction, but we would have the pressure of chemical C raised to the third power divided by the pressure of gas A raised to the first. Again, B is a solid, so it doesn't appear in the K. The units we're going to plug in for the pressure will be the standard unit of bar. Sometimes you'll see atmospheres but technically the correct unit should be bar. Kp and Kc are related to each other by this formula. R is the gas constant, 0.0821. T is the temperature, which has to be in Kelvin. And this exponent is delta N, which is the change in the number of moles of gas. So when you do a change, it's always products minus reactants. For this reaction we're looking at, we have three moles of product gas and only one mole of reactant gas. We don't count the mole of solid. So for this reaction, the change in the number of moles of gas is three minus one, is a positive 2. Kp and Kc are unitless numbers, but you have to use the correct version of R to get the right conversion. So for example, let's say that Kc was known to be 6 times 10 to the fourth. The gas constant R And let's say that our temperature is around room temperature, 300 Kelvin. We raise just the part in the parentheses to the second power, and we get a value of Kp, 3.6 times 10 to the seventh.